Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eliza and in today's video we are knitting a pair of socks from 52 Weeks of Socks. <laughs> I have not been knitting my socks as fast as I was when I first started this series and I'm trying to figure out how to get out of this little sock slump that I'm in. I have three pairs of socks on my needles right now and I have no desire to knit any of them. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to pick the most fun pair that I could find in the book. And to me right now, that's a pair of Colorwork socks. There are plenty of fun looking pairs in this book that are different, but I really wanted to do color work because I think that will just like wake me up a little and like help me get out of this sock slump. So let's just get into it. I'm really eager to knit these and I've kind of given myself an excuse to put down my other sock projects and start a new pair. So I'm very excited to cast on something new. The pattern that I've decided to knit in this video is the Boyland Socks by Caitlin Hunter. That's what they look like. They are a colorwork pair of socks. And the sample, they have used three colors. So I think I'm kind of gonna follow that. I have some yarn from my studio that I brought over here that I purchased a long time ago that I really wanted to use. And then I kind of like picked colors that I thought could work with it. I'm hoping it works. But if not, we'll just have to go to my studio and find some more yarn. It looks like we need a main sock color for like the foot ankle area. We need a toe heel cuff color and then also a like color work color for what's going on around the foot and the ankle. <laughs> The yarn that I picked for my studio is this Hedgehog Fiber sock yarn that I purchased in December. It was like right after Christmas and I went to Monarch Knitting in Monterey, California and I bought this and I bought another one but I really wanted to use this. It has so many beautiful colors in it and I'm really eager to see how it knits up. This color is called Raku and it is the sock yarn from Hedgehog Fibers. They also have a, kind, a yarn base that's called Sock Twist or something like that. So it's just the regular sock yarn and it's so pretty it's got black and yellow it's got hot pink some blue tones some like light white tones orange but i haven't taken it i haven't untwisted it or anything yet so these are the only tones i'm seeing i hope these are the only tones that are there because i picked some colors based on what i was seeing looking at this what i was thinking for the toe heel cuff and hopefully i have enough is this yellow so not too much contrast but i think it might look nice and maybe like a blend in a little bit with the yellow tones that are in here so maybe it'll like i don't know i don't know <laughs> i just thought that maybe they, these would look good together yellow as like the toe heel cuff with this yarn not like so much contrast but they just kind of go together does that make sense <laughs> and then for the color work portion actually let me see how many yards this is this this yarn here is by koigu and it's the color pencil it doesn't even say how oh here 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 <laughs> it's only 87 yards so we shall see if we have enough to do the toes heels and the cuffs with this probably the toes and the heels on both socks but maybe not the cuffs so depending on where we oh you start with the cuffs <laughs> they will have yellow cuffs and then we'll just see if we have enough to do the heels and the toes on both socks i don't know that i want to do mismatched toes and heels like for each sock but we'll just have to wait and see how much yarn we have when we get there so this is what we're starting with and then for the color portions on the foot and the ankle what I want to use is this one, and this is Ancestral Fiber Co. I purchased this at the Black Squirrel in Berkeley, California, and this is 87 yards, so it's the same. Uh, but I also have backup plan <laughs> in case I run out of this. I have this, which is just another like blue tone, so I thought these could kind of be friendly, like these are being friendly, so like these go together, and then this is my contrast. And this is the Ritual Dyes sock yarn. I forget exactly what the sock yarn is called. Um, it's on the label in here and I can link it down below. But the color is Cancer and I think it was from like their last year like Zodiac colorways perhaps. It might still be on the website but I'm not sure. 
So this is like my backup yarn because I do really like how bright this blue is. That's the plan. Hopefully I have enough of all of these colors. I'm Well, actually I'm really just worried about the two minis. But I have a plan for this to keep my mind uh, going. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't scratch the couch. The last time I did a pair of color work socks on my channel, they were the, forget, <laughs> whatever. They were a few videos ago in the sock series. You'll see it. I'm like holding them up in the thumbnail. They're by Stone Knits who does, they do like a ton of color work socks, amazing color work socks, but I knit those two at a time with uh, the recommended needle size, which was not a great needle size for my personal gauge. So they ended up too small, but I did have fun knitting them two at a time. So I'm going to kind of, Lord, I'm going to kind of knit them two at a time. I only have one set of one and a half double needle, one and a half US, one and a half size needles in double points. And that's what the pattern calls for. And that's like my comfortable needle size. So I'm going to use those and I think I'm going to kind of swap around and do like cuff, cuff, <laughs> ankle, ankle, heel, heel, foot, foot, toe, toe, kind of like that, switching between needles. And I think what I'm going to do is since I only have one pair of the double points that I really like, I'll probably just keep putting them on other double points to hold them until I'm ready to start knitting again. That's the plan. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm going to wind all of these yarns and I'm gonna start, start knitting my socks. Yay! The socks are done. I Let me know what you think of the format of this video. It's a little different than my other sock videos. Just thought I would mix it up a little. So let me know if you like that or if you like it better when I check in as I make them. But I'll just do a quick recap of my experience knitting these socks. These are the Boylan socks by Caitlin Hunter. And they were so fun to knit. I think it definitely helped me at least using really fun colors. I think like sometimes I try to like use what I have and I, I find that I always have more fun when I like go crazy with the colors or I just like, I don't know, mix it up a little. Like if you've watched all my sock videos, I think you can kind of see like the first video I made gray socks and then I made space dye socks and then after that i think i started to make socks with or maybe there were two more pairs of socks and then i started to make socks with different colored toes and heels basically what i'm thinking is it's easier for me to knit a pair of socks if i make it a little bit more fun i think this sock pattern would be a fun pattern regardless of like if you use wacky yarns or not because it does require you to use three different colors anyway i mean i guess it's not required but <laughs> The pattern is written for color work. Um, what happened here is my original plan was to do a yellow cuff, heel, and toe. Unfortunately, I did not have enough yellow to do the toes. So I started to do a toe. I think I got through like almost one whole toe. And then I was like, I'm definitely not going to have enough 
for the other toe but I had a lot of the blue left so after experimenting a little bit I like I did the second one where I did like one or two rows of blue and then started doing yellow and I just didn't like it as much I felt like adding that stripe there just like didn't really go with the rest of the sock so I ended up doing blue I feel like it's still pretty cohesive although I think if I had known I was gonna run out of yellow I would have done a blue heel and a yellow toe just so it's like a little bit more even or like symmetrical in my head for some reason I feel like a cuff and a toe matching and then having the blue in between the two blue color work sections would look nice too but this still looks nice also my toes ended up a little bit small because when I was worried or when I was trying to like conserve yellow yarn I ended up doing like three rows of the toe in my main sock color so my toes ended up a little bit small but I think that's fine <laughs> I don't think they look weird they're just like smaller than they normally would be another thing I've learned like for personal preference when knitting socks I find that like the cuffs just aren't sturdy enough for my liking like whenever I put on a hand knit sock I wish the cuff was like more substantial so I think next time I knit a sock, I might see what it's like to hold the yarn double just for the cuff to see if it helps like make it feel a little tighter or just like thicker because in my mind, I feel like the cuff should be thick. <laughs> but like everything else is fine. Like I don't feel that way about the heel or the toe. It's just the cuff. I just want it to be more substantial because it looks really nice and chunky, but then like when I put it on, it's really, it's not really doing anything. It's just like there. And that's nothing about the pattern. It's just personal preference. So I might try holding it double for my next sock. This heel was pretty simple for a short row heel. It was like lots of double stitches. You just did like a bunch of double stitches until you got to the center of the heel. And then you kind of like did the opposite to kind of like turn that corner and make the heel shape. So I thought that was pretty simple. I think if you have experience with short row heels, it would be a pretty easy heel. And then the toe is just a standard like decrease toe, pretty simple. I also found the color work to be really easy and the bobbles in the ankle were so fun. I found myself working through the chart really quickly and I had a lot of fun when I would get to the bobbles. <laughs> I was like looking forward to getting to the bobble rows. Yay! I finished a pair of socks. I'm so excited. I kind of feel like I'm out of my sock slump, but I also feel like I don't want to go back to the socks that I already started. So I might just knit another pair from the book and then we'll see how I feel about going back to the other ones I already started. Let me know what you think of these in the comments and I will see you in my next sock video or in some other video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!